Yo, now you're going to visualize the pathologic signs, the pathologic signs on the X-ray, on X-ray. Now, you need to know that one. <coughs> there are different <coughs> pathologic signs, basically. So now you need to know that you can have pathologic signs which are on the lateral view of the X-ray and which are also on the frontal view. I will say that the specific or the conventional frontal view that we use in X-ray is the posterior anterior view. Basically, so those are the different things that you have to know. Now, you need to know that in the lateral view, the pathologies that you use when you want to visualize the lateral view is mostly mass pathology or space occupying lesions. Basically, space occupying lesions. So, every time you think of a mass effect one or you think of a space occupying region so you need to know that the you need to do the lateral view either the left or the right lateral view basically now how can you visualize a space occupying region provided that you are in a center where you don't have the ecg you want to see if the heart has hypertrophy you can just do the lateral view after visualizing you can see hypertrophy in the case of uh, in the case of the anteroposterior view but on the lateral view you are going to have much more or a better appreciation of that so if you have an enlargement of the heart you're going to actually well see how the heart is going to try to compress the anterior compartment the anterior mediastinum and the posterior mediastinum so on the lateral view if you have to know the specific anatomy of the different major synonyms basically so these are the pathologic signs on the lateral view so that's why you need to know now the different compartment you need to know that you are going to have for the first part here which is your manubrium and you are going to have your clavicle going posterior and the clavicle uh, the clavicle going posterior so you are going to also have your first rib that is going to be connected now to the posterior part here are you getting so those are the different elements you have to know so you are going to have your first rib and then those are the different i want you to understand the compartment of the chest is a different compartment inside the chest now after that now you need to know that what the angle of reach which is the, pro the prominence on your anterior chest is going to correspond to the t4 vertebra behind anteriorly we have the angle of reach this is the angle of reach or it is also called the sternal angle this is it correspond to the t4 vertebra behind now you need to know that what above this line this imaginary line connecting the angle of wrist and the t4 is called the superior mediastinum this part here is called the superior mediastinum and you need to know the structures located in there in order for you to know the mass effect on this structure when you have a pathology on a lateral view of the chest x-ray now you need to know that what inferiorly inferior to this line you're going to have now the inferior mediastinum inferior mediastinum now the inferior mediastinum is divided into three with the part where the heart is connected so so when you have the heart the heart is going to be located here like this you are going to have the different vessels that comes up then this is the esophagus that comes down here you're going to have now the out the outer that goes down also like that the esophagus go down we have also the inferior vena cover the inferior vena cava directly enters the middle mediastinum here basically so those are the different structures and you have the pulmonary vein separation is going to pass these are the pulmonary veins that passes here and these are the pulmonary arteries so those are the different things you have to know so you need to know that where the heart is located there you see the heart shadow that's the cardiac silhouette it is the middle mediastinum where you see the cardiac where you see the middle mediastinum now anterior to the cardiac silhouette you have the anterior mediastinum anterior mediastinum where the cardiac silhouette is located is the middle mediastinum and posterior to the cardiac silhouette is the posterior mediastinum basically so those are the different things now we need to know that there are certain pathologies that you can locate here 
is a clean anterior major sinus. Particularly, you need to know that there are lymph nodes which are well located in the anterior major sinus. Are you getting? So, when you have a carcinoma inside the lungs or inside the heart or inside any structure in the chest, it's going to it's going to enter as you're going, you're going to see healer opacities. Particularly, if you see opacities located there, is it clear? If you see opacity located here, there can be healer opacities. Now, we have also, if you have pathology in the superior mediastinum, the superior mediastinum contains a structure called the thymus gland, basically, and it can be hypertrophied in certain diseases, like in the case of a lambert eaton lambert eaton disease, which is associated with lung cancer, basically, and also associated with a differential of myasthenia gravis, where somebody is not capable of doing repetitive movements. Basically, so when you have a very large thymus gland, you can think of that Lambert Eaton disease, particularly if it's occurring in if it's occurring um, in children. Another one you can think of the Cash syndrome in a case of a DeGeorge syndrome. DeGeorge, DeGeorge syndrome, which is made up of the element of Cash. Basically, so when you have this thymus gland, which is very large, you can think of other cases where you can have immunosuppression, and particularly in that we have the Dijon syndrome with the pneumonia, the catch syndrome, and the T correspond to the thymus gland abnormality and the enlargement. <clears throat> Now, the next thing is the heart. When the heart is enlarged, you can think of the hypertrophy of the heart, basically. And I'm going to tell you on the pathologic sign on the posterior anterior view, which um, part of the heart you have to understand and why is those parts affected and all that. Are you getting <clears throat> so those are the you can see heart enlargement you can have also the aortic arc the the, the aortic arc which is hypertrophied is it clear provided that we have a systemic hypertension is it clear you can have the pulmonary the pulmonary arch that is hypertrophied that can be seen as hypertrophied in a case of a pulmonary hypertension so those are the different structures which can tell you that there is mass effect or you can have also enlargement of the cardiac silhouette particularly in the case of a pericardial effusion basically the cardiac silhouette is not going to be distinguished by the pericardium you can only do only do that distinguish and uh, that in order you can only distinguish them if you're doing a cardiac ultrasound now with the next part now is the posterior medicine with the posterior medicine you need to know that there are still lymph nodes located here so you may have um, um, um diffuse opacities like which are which are which are uh, which are uh, <clears throat> the first opacity here, which are lymphadenopathies, is it, uh, which may tell you that there is a carcinoma somewhere. The next one is that the esophagus may be enlarged. The esophagus may the esophagus may be small. Is it clear? Particularly in a case where the patient has taken a barium meal, you see that there is an esophageal atresia when somebody is suffering or a dysphagia. Is it clear? So those are all the pathology that you can you can you can learn from here. Is it clear? You can also visualize for aneurysms like the the thoracic abdomen, the thoracic aortic aneurysm. If you are going to have the aorta which is large larger than a length of three centimeters three to five centimeters is it clear so we are going to have now an um <clears throat> an, a, a, a thoracic um, aneurysm particularly we have usually abdominal aortic aneurysm but we can have also thoracic aortic aneurysms so all those are pathologies you can visualize from the lateral view of the x-ray particularly with the mass effect of the space occupying lesions Basically, now we are going to visualize pathologic sign on the frontal view.